Hello everyone, it's Pai to this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn about O2P brute forcing using bug suite. Now for this I have a website here and what I want is I want to register on this website. I'll be entering my phone number but uh, I don't have access to that phone number. So in that case I'll receive an OTP and what I want is I want to bypass this. The method that we'll be using is brute force. So let's get started without wasting any time. I'll provide the link to this website in this video description so if you want you can just check it out from there and test it out yourself. Second I have opened it in my uh, Firefox and my proxy proxy is on. I'll just turn on the intercept in my uh, bub switch. Now I'll just fill some email let's say I'll fill uh, uh, my email address. Then full name, uh, just randomly anything. Uh, I need to give a phone number, so I'll just type anything. Let's say, okay. Uh, just make sure I don't have access to this phone number here. Now I'll select my state, which is this, and I'll just give a password. Let's say, I think. Now I'll click on I agree to the terms and views, and then I'll click on create account. Now this request will be intercepted. Here's uh, all the details. Please just uh, pass it. Uh, will not intercept it. Let's just forward it directly. Okay. Wait for some time. Okay, so it has sent me a OTP code. Now what I want is I want to check uh, since I don't have access to this OTP. Uh, I'll have to either guess it or brute force it. So first of all, let's get started by uh, typing any random number. Uh, since I have already uh, checked this account one, so I know the OTP is of four digits. Okay, so I'll just start with let's say four, five, six, seven. You can uh, type anything. And before I click on verify, just make sure you have turned on the intercept. Click on verify. Now again a request will be made which is this verify phone number. Now see this, uh, this is the user ID everything. Here's the OTP code that we have entered. Now what I want to do is I want to check its response code. So what I will do, I will simply right click on this request and click on do intercept then response to this request. Then I will click forward. Now since this OTP is incorrect, I will get a HTML code like this. Okay, so. If I just scroll down, uh, here I have some error message and basically this is incorrect OTP, invalid confirmation code, okay. But what we will do is, uh, we'll just uh, forward, if you want you can just forward, we don't need it anymore. Uh, let's try once again, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, click on verify, but this time what we will do is, we'll right click on it. And then we'll click uh, send it to intruder. Or first you can send it to repeater. Let's go to repeater. Now here's the OTP code. Uh, what this repeater does is you can send the OTP as many times as you want uh, using the repeater. So I'll click on send now. If I get the same error, so here I'm getting the same error that is incorrect uh, invalid confirmation code. So this is also not the correct OTP. We can change the OTP, let's say 1238 here. Then I'll click on send. Again, I'll get the same error. Okay. So you can just try sending it uh, multiple times. If the website doesn't block you, it means you can try brute forcing it. Okay. Uh, since we have tried three times and it doesn't give any error like uh, OTP limit or anything like that, we expire, uh, OTP expired. So what we'll do, we'll just now send it to intruder. Now in repeater we have to manually click on send every time you change the OTP. In intruder we can just automate this process. Okay. Here we have to do a one thing before uh, running the automation. That is here in the OTP code which is 1238. You have to add this placeholders. So just select this part and click on add. Okay. Now this is basically a payload. So uh, we have to set up payload position. So this is your payload position. 
then come to the payloads uh, we are the method that will be using is the sniper attack so basically if you just want to change one value you will be using sniper attack we already have uh, videos on every uh, method like sniper battle ramp peace fork and cluster bomb currently we will be using the sniper method then come to payloads here we have only one payload position uh, that is we only have to change the OTP here you can either load a simple list okay for now I'll just suppose that OTP will not start from zero it may start but I'll suppose it will not start so the minimum OTP possible of four digit will be thousand okay one triple zero and the maximum OTP can be 9999 so I'll just select numbers here uh, you can do a, either select a simple list or numbers if you are selecting simple list so what you have to do you have to type four digit OTP list or here uh, github instead of list just type payload ok so you'll find the four digit OTPs payload like this you can just copy this entire and paste it here ok just select a simple list and click on paste here uh, what I'll be selecting is numbers because I'm supposing the OTP will start from thousand ok it will not start from zero so I'll say it will start from 1000 total uh, and uh, step on step will be one like uh, the OTP will be 1000, 1001, 1002, 1003 like this up to 9999 so this is the maximum possible OTP, OTP combination so you can see after putting these I have a total payload count of 9000 if you use this uh, payload list here which is available on the GitHub there will be total 10,000 uh, combinations so, so after you do this just click on start a test and it will start the sniper attack or the brute force attack for you now what you have to do you have to just keep checking the response see for every uh, payload that is 1000 we are getting status code 200 response that you receive is something variable and the length is 3687 for every uh, OTP we are getting a length of 3687 so using length we can identify which is the correct OTP all you have to do is wait till this is completed ok so you can see there are total of uh, around 900 out of 9000 payloads were sent and for these we are getting 3687 as length if you get any uh, variable length it means that is the correct OTP if you want you can just click on any of these uh, this is the request here the payload or the OTP percent is 1001 you can just scroll down and you will see the OTP sync is 1001 here you can also click your response and you will get the invalid OTP invalid confirmation code okay so you can check for any uh, of these that you want uh, so let us wait for some time uh, for it to get completed and then we will come back here we can see around half of the payload or the OTPs are checked let's see if we got any success so far or no so what you can do you can just scroll down or check it like this or you can just uh, sort it by uh, clicking on the length ok so let's just click on this length and uh, let's do it once again here you can see uh, for one OTP that is 5067 we are getting a different length that is 989 which is different than the rest of the uh, tip so it means this is the correct one so if I click on it and the OTP is 5067 as you can see here is the OTP and its response is something different than the rest ok so it means this is the correct OTP so you can just stop our attack we don't need it anymore so let me just close this attack 5067 just remember it and you can just come here proxy the uh, uh, let's forward this ok so now I'll type 5067 here and let me just turn off the intercept we don't need it right now and I'll click on verify and it should get confirmed ok so see uh, I was successfully uh, signed uh, so the my phone number was verified so this is how you can uh, brute force OTPs using
Bob Swift. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.